हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल लर्न माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इट्स डॉक्टर चौधरी एस जी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी व्यंकटेश माजन सीनियर कॉलेज उस्मानाबाद इन दिस वीडियो वी आर अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द सपॉइट फॉर्म यूनिट फर्स्ट एंजाइम फ्रॉम द पेपर सिक्सटीन ऑफ द बी एस सी थर्ड ईयर मेकेनिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम द मेकेनिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम इन्वॉल्व पर्टिक्युलरली बाइंडिंग ऑफ एंजाइम एंड सबस्टेट फॉर्मिंग ई एस कॉम्प्लेक्स द सबस्टेट पर्टिक्युलरली बाइंड्स टू द एक्टिव साइट्स ऑफ द एंजाइम फॉर्मिंग ई एस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड मॉडिफाई सबस्टेट और कन्वर्ट सबस्टेट इन टू द प्रोडक्ट रिलीजिंग द एंजाइम एज इट इज और रिलाइजिंग इज सेल्फ एज इट इज सो द टाइप्स ऑफ mechanism we are going to discuss are majorly three types lock and key model by fisher induced fit model by coastland and ping pong mechanism the first mechanism or theory of enzyme action is the lock and key model by emil fisher this model particularly insist upon the specificity of the enzyme and substrate the lock and key theory explains the high specificity of the enzyme activity or high specificity of the enzyme towards the substrate like a key is specific for its lock so that's why it is term as lock and key model here substrate indicates the key and the active site are particularly indicate the hole of the lock so as like a particular key fits into a hole of particular lock the particular or specific enzyme particularly binds with the specific substrate so only correct size key that is substrate fits into key hole that is the active site of the lock that is enzyme and forms es complex or enzyme substrate complex so then the limitations of this theory it insists upon the rigidity of the active site okay but mm, number of researchers show that every enzyme must be at least somewhat flexible the active sites are somewhat flexible it is not a rigid entity what lock and key model uh, says or what are the outcomes of lock and key theory it state that active site is single entity there is no other catalytic group or separate group the enzyme particularly binds with the substrate with its active sites or the group in the active sites there is no another group which are involved in the catalysis it also state that the active site is static there is no configuration changes in the active site of enzyme the development of transition state is not considered here the intermediate state the transition state development is not considered or the development of unstable to stable transition state is not considered here it does not visualize the weakening of substrate bond so this particularly the substrate bonding Uh, weakens after the attachment of enzyme to the substrate in order to convert into the product it is also not visualized in this theory so these are certain drawbacks and actual features of the lock and key model the next model which is just a little bit modified form or modified uh, theory of the uh, mechanism of action of enzyme which is the induced fit model 
discovered by coastland a modification what is modification this point also we talk in our uh, video on activation of enzyme uh, in that some enzymes are having ability or some enzymes undergo configuration changes at the active site so that or in order to bind with the substrate molecule so it indicates that the active sites are not rigid there are certain changes in order to the complementariness with the substrate in order to bind with the substrate look at the size of active site here and the size of substrate here then also is yes, complex form and it forms by modifying the shape of the active site so induced fit model is the model that insists the flexible configuration of the uh, enzyme active sites okay so active sites of the enzymes adopts a shape that is complementary to the substrate and after adapting this shape then the substrate get bound because the substrate having predetermined size predetermined configuration and enzyme itself modify the uh, configuration of the active site and joins with the substrate and forms es complex so this is the modified version which uh insist upon the flexibility of the enzyme active site so it set about a separate catalytic group uh which is visualized during the mechanism of action this separate group uh, can uh, is complementary to the substrate binding site and that's why the enzyme binds to the substrate active site is not static here so it also uh, shows that the active site is flexible it is not static there are changes during the uh, reaction with substrate it consider the development of transition state before the reactant undergo change the substrate conversion of substrate to product before this conversion before the change of the reactant there is an intermediate transition state and the catalytic group is believed to weaken the substrate bond by nucleophilic or electrophilic attack and thus there is modification of substrate into the product by the enzyme so these are the two mechanism one is lock and key model and another is the induced fit mechanism a third mechanism it is somewhat different mechanism it is ping pong mechanism or it is also term as double displacement mechanism remember this term double displacement mechanism in this is particularly found with single substrate also it may be with two substrate also or it may be with multiple substrate different uh, researchers or different scientists having uh, state this mechanism with uh, different number of substrate okay so we are uh, studying it with two substrate molecule so let us see what is this ping pong mechanism or why it is known as ping pong mechanism Uh, you know the ping pong ball uh, it is a very low weight lighter um, ball when we drop it on the ground it again forces back to the upside okay so this uh, mechanism or this displacement of the ball from ground to upside again to downside it is indicated in this ping pong wording okay likewise the enzyme during the reaction get modified so that's why it is term as double displacement mechanism let us uh, see what is it detail with the help of figure here 
enzyme E binds with substrate A, which is the first substrate. Then it forms EA enzyme substrate complex and convert this A into the product P, which is the first product. First substrate A is converted to first product P, but during this conversion, this E is converted to F means it gets certain modified modification so this uh, due to this modification we indicates the modified enzyme is f or it is intermediate stage also okay so intermediate enzyme is f now it able to bind to the second substrate it doesn't bind to the first substrate okay it attain the modification certain change so now it binds to the second substrate B but before that the product P is released and free F enzyme which is the modified E binds to the second substrate B forms FB enzyme substrate complex and convert this B into the Q but during this conversion second substrate get converted to second product the E F enzyme regain its original configuration and releases as a original enzyme along with second product. Okay, so number of enzymes following this pattern, uh, particularly the enzymes involved in cascade reaction, chain reaction, follow this pattern. Number of blood clotting enzymes, number of digestive enzymes. Uh, here I quoted the example uh, name of trypsin, chymostrypsin, elastase enzyme, blood clotting enzyme. Number of enzymes are there. They are following such pattern, modify themselves uh, to in order to bind to second substrate, releases the first product and forms new product and get their own configuration. And that's why their mechanism that is uh, is like a ping pong ball and that's why it's named as ping pong me mechanism let us once again revise what type of mechanism is it the enzyme e binds to the first substrate a forms enzyme substrate complex that is ea which convert it into the convert a that is the first substrate into the first first product that is P but during this it get modified into F now the product is released and free modified enzyme which is the intermediate enzyme binds to the second substrate forms FB that is second substrate enzyme complex and convert this second substrate into the Q which is the second product and during this conversion it regain its original configuration and it become E okay so after releasing of the second sub um, product the original enzyme is also released to follow the cascade reaction okay so particularly the enzymes involved in cascade reaction are having this mechanism of action uh, look here this is the enzyme E which joins to the first substrate so that's why it is indicated that ping we press the ball on the ground ping then it convert this substrate into the product p but it it is not e now it is f so product get released pong and this f again joins to the second substrate b that is again we press the ball here the ball bounces up again, pong. Here again, press the ball to the ground, p, ping, and again this enzyme converts substrate B into the Q. Then again it's bounce up, so releasing free enzyme. So this is the mechanism. Here is the enzyme. F is the modified or inter intermediate enzyme. A is the first substrate. B is the second substrate. P 
is the first product q is the second product so hope you understand uh, the mechanism of next video we are talking about the factors affecting the enzyme action thank you